It seems as if for four years we have been fenced into this dog pound to be trained. We have learned discipline, responsibility, and a few new tricks along the way. You can overcome tremendous obstacles. Graduates, you now exit high school onto a world stage filled with infinite possibilities. I pronounce you graduates of Fountainville High School.
be seated. Welcome to Fountain Blue High School's graduation. I am Allison Elaine Simeon, Senior Class Vice President. The class of 2010 would like to thank you all for coming and sharing this special occasion with us. It is because of you, our parents, teachers, friends, and family that we are here this evening. You are the ones who got us up in the morning, gave us rides when our cars wouldn't start, and made sure we did our homework. You pushed us to do the best we can and to be the best we could be. And for that, we are forever grateful. Once again, thank you for being here with us. The Fountain Blue High School Junior ROTC will present the colors. The pledge will be led by the Senior Class Officer Jessica Ann Gutierrez, Senior Class Treasurer. Following the pledge, the national anthem will be sung by the senior members of the chorus. Please rise, remove your hats, and remain standing until the color guard has exited. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I would like to introduce our guests here on stage. Those present from St. Tammany Parish Central Office staff are Ms. Gail Sloan, Superintendent, Mr. Trey Fulce, Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Cheryl Araby, Assistant Superintendent, and Mr. Peter Javia, Assistant Superintendent. School board members present on stage are Ms. Rowan Tipton, District 6, Ms. Judy Palmer, District 7, Mr. Daniel Zagnelli, District 8, and Mr. Ronald Betancourt, District 10. 
And now Ms. Victoria Bellamain, Senior Class Secretary with Reflections. Good evening. In August of 2006, the majority of our class started as freshmen at Fountain Blue. In the last four years at school, we have lost and gained some, but as we sit here today, we know that we are true Fountain Blue Bulldogs, and we are the class of 2010. Starting at a new school is quite an uneasy task. Starting at Fountain Blue is even harder. The size and structure of the buildings, along with a large number of upperclassmen to fill them, was very intimidating. But I must say, the most intimidating part of being a freshman was walking down the hall and feeling those infamous shoulder grabs by Mr. Vetrano. We were the first class to experience having two junior highs flow into one high school, and we were also new to having no uniforms. Whether you came from Fountain Blue, Montleon, or elsewhere, starting at Fountain Blue High as a freshman was quite the experience. There were many challenges to face, meeting new people, finding classes, focusing on grades, and need I say, five-year plan. We weren't the cute little dogs on campus. We were the runts that would have to prove ourselves worthy to be true bulldogs. Because we were in the ninth grade, we did have a few perks. Teachers were more understanding if we made small errors, and we were invited to top dog, little dog events. Also, we were now allowed into high school dances, and we made ourselves known by attending football games and other major events. We weren't completely invisible to the rest of the school. Upper cl classmen realized that they might have to step up their game to compete with us in school-wide challenges. That might be why they tried tricking us into believing there is a pool on top of the gym. 2006 to 2007 was a year of advancement. The one billionth song was purchased from Apple iTunes, the first female was elected to be Speaker of the U.S. Congress, and the first iPhone was released by the end of our freshman year. As sophomore year approached, we seemed a lot more comfortable with high school. We had a little bit more experience under our collars. We were ready for more responsibilities and stronger as a class. It was our duty to host the Mardi Gras dance and to head up the school-wide food drive. Being in charge of these tasks helped teach responsibility and help us gain more experience in leading school activities. Sophomore year is usually considered to be the dullest year of high school, but by no means did we let it happen that way. We had a few letdowns involving the no sweatpants rule and some other unspeakable events that caused commotion in the winter. This obligated us to sit outside during lunch, and we had to sign out to use the restroom. All of these new rules were not enjoyable, but helped teach a difficult lesson, discipline. Sometimes you don't have a say in what goes on in life. There is always a higher authority telling you what to do. Sophomore year was tough, but we got through it knowing that the, rest, the next two years of high school, we would be top dogs and things could only get better. By August of 2008, we were finally juniors. We were considered to be top dogs and were halfway finished with our high school careers. The year ahead of us was filled with treats. The greatest treat of all happened in December. We experienced snow. Snow days are unheard of and never seen in the South. The day Margaret Orr predicted snow in the North Shore area, we were in complete and utter shock. In every class, the topic of the day was snow. The morning that snow was forecasted, everyone was still faithful, but had yet to see one flurry. Fifteen minutes before the morning bell, the excitement began. There was snow. Forbidden cell phones were being whipped out, and the line for student services grew rapidly. Calling 15 names at a time over the intercom, student services was the busiest it has ever been. We have seen snow, and it was epic. What a way to end first semester. Other exciting things about becoming a junior were licenses and later curfews. Licenses allowed us to drive ourselves to school and be more self-reliant. This also made it easier to attend school events and be more involved and socialized as a class. During second semester, we received two more privileges of being juniors. We were able to attend prom and received our class rings. Prom was a very exciting event. Our class planned and decorated the Castine Center and then we danced all night to songs like Lady Gaga's Just Dance and Live Your Life by T.I. 
When it was time for the class of 2009 to leave, it was our turn to take our place as seniors. This was made official at our ring ceremony. As we walked across the stage receiving our rings, we also received our title as seniors. The end was finally approaching. We were officially the top dogs. It was class of 2010's turn to take control. We dominated in class mark events and made it known that we were a force to be reckoned with. Our senior year has been very memorable. Our country has made history by electing Barack Obama as our 44th president, the king of pop, Michael Jackson, passed away, and more closely to our hearts, the Saints won their first Super Bowl. In the fall of our senior year, the Saints hit the ground running with a 13-game winning streak. After three dreadful losses against Dallas, Tampa Bay, and Carolina, ESPN and other sports geniuses predicted that our winning streak was over and was all by good fortune. But class of 2010 and the rest of New Orleans continued to believe. At this point in the season, it was time for the Saints to prove themselves. They headed into the postseason playing the Cardinals first. Victory. Next were the Vikings. Could we really beat Brett Favre? Victory. Every Friday, we would have spirit days for Saints, and the mall was flooded with students wearing black and gold. These spirit days made senior year extra special because it, is, because it is not something that happened every year. On February 7, 2010, the Saints beat the Colts and brought home New Orleans' first Super Bowl championship. Senior year also brought new traditions to Fountain Blue. This year, a very special club was made new, the Yaya's. This club incorporated theme days into our school week, such as Whiteout Wednesday and Fountain Blue Friday. It definitely made the fish philosophy come to life by allowing people to play, be there, choose their attitude, and make people's day. We hope that this tradition lives on with senior classes that come through FHS in the future. Senior year has definitely been the most memorable year of high school. We have united as a class and left our mark on Fountain Blue. No matter what, our high school experience has made an impact on all of our lives. It seems as if for four years we have been fenced into this dog pound to be trained. We have learned discipline, responsibility, and a few new tricks along the way. We have been given treats when deserving of them and punished as all dogs are at least once in our lives. We have more no knowledge of life now than when we entered. And as a class, we have left our mark. It has been a good run, but it is time for us to advance in our lives. It's time to take the skills and tricks we have learned and incorporate them into the real world. The possibilities of this class are endless. We can achieve the impossible, and it's time to be let off our leashes. So, you guys ready to let the dogs out? Ms. Kathy Gottschall, Assistant Principal, will now present Special Recognition Awards. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I present the honor graduates of the Class of 2010, recognizing their accomplishments and pursuit of excellence. Grade point average is based on the grades earned in courses attempted by a student. It is one measure of a student's pursuit of academic excellence. At this time, we would like to recognize those students that have earned the distinction of graduating with a 3.5 to 3.999 grade point average. These students are wearing a white cord in recognition of their hard work and academic excellence. Will all these graduates stand and be recognized at this time? Please be seated. Honor graduates that earned the distinction of graduating with a grade point average of 4.0 and above 
are wearing gold cords in recognition of their pursuit of academic excellence. Will all the honor graduates stand and be recognized at this time? Please be seated. The first time students and parents heard the words career cluster and five-year plan, they were in the eighth grade. Little did they realize how important and how many times they would revise their five-year plan during their high school years. Students that successfully followed a concentration of elective courses in one of the 16 career clusters offered by the state earn the distinction of being a career cluster completer. In the graduating class of 2010, 355 students are career cluster completers. We would like to recognize these students by having them stand at this time. Please be seated. Career completers can also earn an academic and or career technical endorsement by following specific academic coursework, attaining designated achievement criteria on the graduate exit exam, grade point average, and ACT test, as well as achieving industry-based certifications, college credit, and or work-based learning experiences. These students are recognized with a state seal on their diploma and received an endorsement pin on their stole. In the graduating class of 2010, 86 students achieved academic endorsements, 29 students earned a career technical endorsement, and 14 students received both endorsements. Would these students stand and be recognized at this time? Please be seated. The administration, faculty, and staff would like to present the top students in each career cluster to the class of 2010. Would the following student please join Mr. Vetrano on the stage as I call his or her name. In the career cluster of agriculture, food, and natural resources, Haley Nicole Yuloa. Haley followed a sequence of courses that included small animal care one and two, veterinarian technician, and internship. She earned a career technical endorsement as well as an industry-based certification in canine care. Haley plans on continuing her studies this fall at Southeastern Louisiana University. For Arts, AV Technology, and Communication, Alexandra Marie Mouton. <laughs> Alexandra pursued the two-year Broadcasting Academy, learning both the on-camera and behind-the-camera aspects of broadcasting. Besides spending countless hours planning, editing, and performing in the broadcast productions, she was chosen to attend the Summer Institute at Channel 13 and earned an academic endorsement. Alexandra will be attending Louisiana State University in the fall, majoring in broadcast journalism. In the area of business management and administration, Ryan Anthony Parker. While at FHS, Ryan completed the business career cluster with courses in Introduction to Business, Principles of Marketing, Accounting, Entrepreneurship, and Business Law. He kept his focus on the future by juggling his time between work and academics, maintaining high grades, and earning college credit in computers and accounting through Louisiana Technical College. 
This fall, he will be continuing his studies at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. For the Education and Training Career Cluster, Mariah Angelica Dolis. Mariah completed the state's STAR program, being selected as the most outstanding STAR student at FHS. She also completed additional requirements, earning college credit and a career technical endorsement. She has been a cheerleader for four years, leading the squad as the captain in her senior year. She is selected to the National Honor Society and volunteered many hours in community service. As a newly selected member of the Southeastern Louisiana University Lions Cheerleading Squad, you will be able to see Mariah cheering the Lions on to victory while continuing her academic pursuits in education and teaching. <laughs> Government and Public Administration, Janelle Denae Cooper. Janelle has been actively involved in community service through the Junior ROTC Corps for four years, serving as an officer this year. She also participated in the bowling club for four years, serving as the vice president in her junior year and the president during her senior year. Additionally, she supported the robotics team through fundraising, was a class senator, National Honor Society member, Relay for Life participant, and a lab assistant for the science department. She will be attending Louisiana Tech in the fall and plans to major in chemical engineering with a minor in Spanish. The Health Science Career Path top student is Lonica Deanne Huff. Lonica's interest in the health science field culminated with her enrollment in the Emergency Medical Technician Program. She was an active member of the Environmental Club, Quiz Bowl, National Honor Society, and Key Club. She also earned a career technical endorsement through the Health Science Cluster, industry-based certifications, and college credit. This fall, Lonica will be attending the University of Alabama, majoring in pre-medicine and biology. For hospitality and tourism, Christy Diane Brown. During the past two years, Christy has worked to hone her culinary skills through the Pro Start program, enthusiastically stepping into a variety of management roles. She coordinated the Empty Bowls project, developed and marketed a Super Bowl catering menu, and helped manage the volunteer appreciation breakfast. In addition, she worked many extra hours leading the FHS Pro Start management team to a second place win at the State Pro Start Invitational. She will be attending Southeastern Louisiana University in the fall, pursuing a degree in social services and family and consumer science education. In the human services career field, Mallory Ann Bischoff. Mallory's interest in the human service field led her to take child development courses as well as family and consumer science, psychology, and sociology. She earned college credit in English as well as an academic endorsement while maintaining involvement in National Hispanic Honor Society, Top Dog Little Dog, and Student Council. This fall, she will be attending Southeastern Louisiana University majoring in psychology. In the career cluster of information technology, Andrew Thomas Durier. Andrew took numerous technology courses, including IBCA, Computer Networking One, Computer Science One, Webmaster, Computer Multimedia, and Computer Architecture, leading to the completion of the information technology cluster. He also earned an academic endorsement college credit in calculus and elementary statistics, and industry-based certification in IC3. 
Andrew plans on pursuing a career in computer science by continuing his studies at Louisiana Tech this fall. For manufacturing, Demario LaShawn Hart. Demario completed the manufacturing career cluster through successful completion of AgriScience 1, AgriScience 2, Welding 1, and Welding 2. He was a member of the award-winning welding team, placing first, second, and third at district, and fifth at area competitions. Demario also earned college credit in welding through the Louisiana Technical College and was part of Future Farmers of America. He plans on continuing his studies this fall at Baton Rouge Community College, majoring in business. For the science, technology, engineering, and math career cluster, Justin Thomas Hassinger. Justin participated in the FHS Advanced Drafting Program. He was a strong contributor to the Avalon Project, utilizing his genius in math and engineering to design a futuristic community based solely on renewable energy sources. He earned college credit in drafting through Louisiana Technical College, as well as a career technical endorsement. Justin plans on continuing his studies in engineering and industrial design at Louisiana State University this fall. Under the school crest are written two words, optimus optimorum, or best of the best. The following six students know what it means to be the best of the best. They have earned the distinction of graduating first in their class. They are the best of the best of the class of 2010. Would the following students please join Mr. Vetrano on the stage and remain there as I call his or her name. Adam Charles Beasley. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Beasley. Adam has maintained straight A's in our most rigorous courses, including advanced placement and gifted. He has been actively involved in Key Club, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, and Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Adam also excelled in the soccer field, serving as the captain this year, Secretary of Student Council, President of Quiz Bowl, and a People to People Sports Ambassador. This fall, Adam will be taking his first step in his aspiration of opening a hospital in South America for children by enrolling in Samford University and majoring in pre-medicine. Ryan Summers Casasa. Son of Mr. and Mrs. John Casasa. Ryan was a member of National Honor Society and a member of the baseball team. He also volunteered at local retirement homes, participated in group cleanups, and tutored students at FHS. He is chosen to attend Purdue this fall, pursuing a degree in chemical engineering through the Honors Engineering Program. Zachary Ellis Davis. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Davis. Zachary is a National Merit Commended student. He is a four-year band member being selected to Parish and District Honor Band the last two years, all-state bassoon player and section leader in the Crimson Marching Band. Zachary was also selected as the most outstanding calculus AP student for 2010 and a member of the National Honor Society. Zachary will be majoring in biological sciences at Louisiana State University in the fall. Amy Christine Diebel. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Mark Diebel. Amy is a National Merit Commended student and scored a perfect score on the SAT this year. <laughs> Sh 
She excelled in the gifted and talented art program, was a member of the National Honor Society, tennis team, and cross country team. Amy is attending the University of Alabama in the fall, majoring in communicative disorders and speech pathology. Anne Mora Kurtz. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Kurtz. Anne is a National Merit Commended student. She scored a 33 on the ACT with a perfect score of 36 in the English and Reading subscore. This year, Anne was a top dog, little dog, senior homecoming maid, selected as the most outstanding student in anthropology and American government, served as vice president of the National Honor Society, treasurer of student council, and editor of the FHS Gazette. If that was not enough, she continued her involvement as an active member in Bulldog Buddies and Key Club. This fall, you will find Anne on the campus of the University of Notre Dame, majoring in biology. She plans on pursuing a career in the medical field. <laughs> Jennifer Kimball McNeil. daughter of Mr. and Mrs. McNeil. Jennifer is an AP Scholar of Distinction, scoring a five on the advanced placement exams in world history, American history, and American government, as well as a three on the English and composition exams. Not only did she excel in the rigorous gifted curriculum, she found time to be active in the environmental club and philosophy club, serving as the president, National Honor Society, Key Club, French Honor Society, and served as the Times-Picayune correspondent in her junior year. She will be attending Reed College in the fall, majoring in psychology. Beginning in the spring of their junior year, students start applying to institutions of higher learning for admittance and scholarships. Scholarships are awarded based on academic excellence, involvement in extracurricular activities, and community service. Students are compared to other students from all across the nation and state. Receiving a scholarship is an honor reflecting the students' hard work and pursuit of excellence. The administration, faculty, and staff of Fountain Blue High would like the scholarship recipients to stand and be recognized. The senior class of 2010 has been awarded $7,750,871 in private military university tops and other state scholarships. Thank you. Mr. Peter Jabia, Assistant Superintendent, will now present scholarship awards. Good evening. It's indeed an honor for me to be able to present two scholarships tonight to graduates of Fountain Blue High School. The first scholarship is the William Pitcher Scholarship. This scholarship carries the name of a man that served in education for over 40 years and was a superintendent of schools for over 30 years. Mr. Pitcher was known and loved by all, and his avocation was to assist young people in getting started in the world as adults. This scholarship is awarded on the basis that the student is a graduate from a St. Tammany Parish public school and will be attending Louisiana State University. This student must possess a good character, excel in extracurricular activities, and meet high academic standards. On behalf of the William Pitcher Scholarship Board of Trustees, this year I proudly present a $1,000 scholarship 
to a student from Fountain Blue High School, Ms. Samantha Taylor. The second scholarship is the Leonard Monleon Scholarship. This scholarship carries the name of a man that served in education for over 35 years and was a superintendent of schools for almost 10 years. Mr. Mr. Monleon was well known throughout the education community and his hard work and dedication created a school system of success and growth. This scholarship is awarded on the basis that the student is a graduate from a St. Tammany Parish public school and will be, a t will be attending a Louisiana-funded college or university. This student must possess a good character, excel in extracurricular activities, and meet high academic standards. On behalf of the Leonard Monleon Scholarship Board of Trustees, this year I proudly present a $1,000 scholarship to a student from Fountain Blue High School, Ms. Kelsey Hershey. Mr. Detanye Akorate Charles will now deliver the main address. Welcome faculty, family, friends, guests, and fellow graduates. I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to speak to you on this monumental occasion. I'm standing here before you as a witness to our class's special qualities. The individuals of our class collectively personify both adversity and diversity. We come from different races, ethnicities, and nationalities that span every corner of the globe. In essence, Fountain Blue is a unique community. Our time at Fountain Blue has come to an end. However, we are left with fond memories and many relationships. I remember the first day of high school. I was so excited to be entering the ninth grade, but at the same time, I was so nervous. How could I not be? There were so many different things that I didn't know about myself, but over the past four years, I have grown. I have been taught by hardworking and innovative teachers that have equipped me with so much knowledge. As my college experience draws closer, I am again nervous about my future environment and excited about the new things that I will learn about myself. We are finally graduating from high school, and it is so easy to assume that we're done. However, the journey is just beginning, and preparation starts now. The so-called real world starts now. Some of us will be entering college soon. Some of us will be joining the armed forces. Some of us will be getting a job, and many of us are unsure. Despite this, one thing is certain. Education is vital. Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As the son of Nigerian immigrants who have used education as a way to escape the life of abject poverty, I totally agree. Everyone here in this room has encountered obstacles, and at times they can seem insurmountable. However, we continue to work hard in the hope that one day we will overcome them. So never give up. 
I leave you now with a quote from former U.S. track and field athlete, Olympic gold medalist, Bruce Jenner. Realize that the reason most people fail isn't because of the competition, but because of the limits they place upon themselves, allowing defeat to take over. Take responsibility of your own destiny. You can come up with a performance if you reach down and dig deep enough into your competitive soul. You can overcome tremendous obstacles. Thank you. Mr. Johnny Vitrano, principal, will now present two special awards. Students are nominated and selected for the Bulldog Award and Optimist Optimum Award by the faculty and staff of Fountain Blue High School. The students nominated for the Bulldog Award must exemplify the following criteria. A Bulldog's disposition is steady, uniform, and kind, fixed and firm in purpose, courageous, not vicious or aggressive. A Bulldog must, be a, must have a dignified demeanor and is revered for his or her loving disposition and the ability to get along with others. The 2010 Bulldog Awards this year go to a young woman who was president of the Students' Council and played on the soccer team for three years. The young man was co-president of the Student Council and of the band for four years. This year's recipients are Shelby Elizabeth Latino and Jackson Gregory Voss. The Optimus Optimum Award is awarded to the young woman and young man that epitomize the ideals of Fountain Blue High School. These two students must excel in academics, extracurricular activities, and their representation of Fountain Blue High School to the public. The two students selected do represent the school and student body with both pride and dignity. The 2010 Optimus Optimum Awards this year go to a young woman who excelled academically was on the soccer team for four years, and was also copy editor of the yearbook. The young man also excelled academically, played football for four years, competed on the track team, and also helped create a totally green city in the advanced drafting class. This year's recipients are Mallory Kate Richardson and Evan Michael Luke. Our next speaker is Ms. Gail Sloan, Superintendent of Schools. As you graduate and move forward to make your mark on the world, I will be retiring from my career as an educator and making my way along the path of retired citizen. It has been a privilege for me to work with students 
trying to provide meaningful opportunities that set young people on a course to greater accomplishment. It has been a privilege for me to work alongside dedicated teachers and administrators who have tried to get you to pay attention each day and engage in meaningful learning opportunities that will deepen your knowledge and understanding. It has been a privilege for me to assist your parents who have sacrificed and committed to providing opportunities for you to learn important life lessons and instill character. It has been a privilege to watch former students make their way toward becoming productive citizens, good parents, and happy family members with useful and even extraordinary careers that help to better our community, state, nation, and world. Each year at the commencement ceremony, my position allows me to give some advice to young graduates. The advice is based on the wisdom of age and experience and is offered with respect and hope for your success and happiness in life. For my last time to offer advice to young graduates, I reviewed several years of commencement addresses to pick out the very best bits of advice I had to offer. So here it is, my own top 10 list of advice to graduates. Build on your knowledge with further learning throughout your lifetime. Combine your skills and knowledge with caring and compassion. Be true to yourself and listen to your moral compass. Temper values with virtue. Stay close to your family. Welcome new people who will further enrich your lives while being wise in determining those who will not. Remember that making a good living is not as important as making a good life. Develop a strong work ethic while also understanding the importance of rest and relaxation. Include faith and constancy in your daily practice and try to leave the world a better place. That's the best advice I have to offer you graduates and I offer it with my highest hopes that you will benefit from the wisdom and experience that I have gained in my lifetime. Graduates, you now exit high school onto a world stage filled with infinite possibilities. Reach for the stars and shine brightly. Congratulations. Sloan. We at Fond Blue High School would like to take a moment to say thank you to Ms. Sloan for all her hard work and her dedication to our school and all the schools of the parish. Ms. Sloan has been a friend and a mentor to many of us here and throughout the parish. Ms. Sloan is a lifetime resident of St. Tammany Parish and a product of our public school system. In her 39 years in education, she has served as a teacher, assistant principal, principal, and has spent the last seven years dedicating her time and energy to being our superintendent and been instrumental in taking the parish on its journey from good to great. This is Ms. Sloan's last graduation as superintendent. So on behalf of the Fountain Blue community, we want to present this little gift to Ms. Sloan with our eternal gratitude for all that she's done. Thank you, Gail. Please excuse the senior class members on stage as we join our classmates for the presentation of diplomas. Will the candidates for graduation please rise?
Mr. Vetrano, I present to you the Fountain Blue High School class of 2010. These students have met all the requirements for graduation as set forth by the parish of St. Tammany in the state of Louisiana. I highly recommend these students for graduation. You can be seated. Jacqueline Alexandra Accord. Amber Nicole Adolf. Gustavo Arturo Aguilar. Gregory Robert Albers II. Lindsay Marie Alleman. William John Alfred V. Timothy Paul Allgood Jr. Gunnar Walker Anderson. Cassandra Michelle Anderson. Simon Tobias Anderson. Andrea Amelda Antoine. Caitlin Rosa Arsenault. Zachary Jules Ardwan. Joshua Peter Ehrenstam. Brooke Lauren Artig. Thomas Andrew Babin III. Orson Caleb Badger. Spencer Dean Baggert. Christopher Thomas Bagg. Emily Ann Bagley. Michelle Germaine Bagger. Jessica Basalo Bale. Jennifer Rose Bailey. Eugene Emil Balix Jr. John Caleb Banks. Charlotte Ann Wister Barber. Gabrielle Elise Barfield. Mark Stevens Barletter II. Keldon Jerome Barnes. Kristen Sierra Berrios. Stacy Lee Berrios. Julia Baumeister. Salvador Brian Bevito Jr. Adam Charles Beasley. Jennifer Beeler. Corey Matthew Benefield. Lindsay Nahan Bennett. Daniel Stokes Berlin III. Miranda Lynn Bernard. Ryan Patrick Bernard. Richard Henry Bienvenue IV. Mallory Ann Bischoff. Ross Nelson Blair. Vaughn Raymond Bogren. Jeremy Joseph Bonet. Lauren Ann Bonneville. Brooke Aaron Bonura. Joshua Allen Bordelon. Kyle Thomas Boucher. Elton Anthony Boudouin III. Chelsea Danielle Boudreau. Claire Ann Bourgeois. Catherine Jean Braddock. Candice Chanel Bradley. Gina Lee Bransowitz. Ayana Milan Braswell. Lauren Elizabeth Braun. Braden Elliott Braun. Catherine Amanda Brewster. Simi Danielle Brickhouse. Amanda Michelle Bridges, 
Jeremy Bryant Bruchter. Christy Diane Brown. Cody Allen Brown. Jamie Lynn Brown. Stephen James Brown. Jillian Alice Brownlee. Trevor J. Bugner. Alyssa Louise Bunch. Joshua David Burke. Phatric Olivia Burns. Leisha Rose Burns. Rochelle Elizabeth Burris. Madison Alexandra Butzman. Eric William Buvens. Michelle Lauren Cabaceres. Stephanie Elizabeth Kabibi. Christian Michael Campo. Joshua Brian Campo. Christopher Vincent Cangelosi. Elizabeth Rose Cangelosi. Matthew Daniel Carroll. Ryan Summers Casasa. Adriana Mariana Casnave. Matthew Ryan Casnave. Rashida Carday Casnave. Hayden Patrick Cassidy. Suzanne Marie Catalano. Zachary Nicholas Cavaretta. Tanith Lane Kavanak. Brienne Renee Shea. Kelsey Ann Shapwee. Decorier Amieta Charles. Detanye Acorieta Charles. Cameron Nicholas Chauvin. Samuel Chin. Max Chow. Justin David Church. Keisha Laurel Clark. Shelly Marie Clark. Derek Joseph Clement. Patrick Mark Collins. Kevin Christopher Connolly. Adam Joseph Cookmeyer. Janelle Denae Cooper. Jaron Quinn Cooper. Matthew Waite Coombs. Jonathan Scott Kuzan. James Anthony Cousin Jr. Luke Joseph Kuzan. Matthew Stephen Crane. Ariel Elizabeth Christ. Brittany K. Demeray. Sean Joseph DeRay. Brenna Alicia Dahl. Zachary Ellis Davis. Kylie Marie Dazzo. David Andrew DeBarberis. Amy Christine Diebel. Renee Druette DeGeorge. Jordan Gabriel Demiers. Nathan Edward Denninger. Thomas Joseph Derricks. Carlos William DeSmith. Philip Locke DeVay. Jorge Luis Diaz Jr. Catherine Jean DeMont. Chelsea Ann Dillon. Chelsea Jane Dinhofer. Elka Leah Dinhofer. Casey Lee DeCharo. Christian Edward Doe. Kristen Rochelle Dodd. Mariah Angelica Dolies. Kristen Leanne Donnelly. Emily Anna Dowie. Brittany Elizabeth Drangay. Dominic Timothy Ducre. Zachary Paul Dufresne. Seth Ryan Dugar. Justin Grant Duplantis. Michael Allen Durham. 
Andrew Thomas Durie, Lauren Elizabeth Duthu, Tanner Lauren Eberhardt, Karima Hunan Elamin, Elizabeth Marie Elliott, Taylor Michelle Emmons, Brooke Elizabeth Entwizzle, Ryan Richard Erickson, George Alberto Espinal III, Brandon Alexander Evans, Jennifer Eileen Exley, Rara Kiros Yasu, Miles Ross Farmer, Gabrielle Elizabeth Favre, Kyle Joseph Fayard, Charles Richard Ferguson, Erica Ashley Ferrando, Samuel Dane Fetter, David James Fiegel, Cassidy Ellen Fisher, Kyle Ashton Fisher, Michelle Cherie Flick, Stacy Lynn Flick, Paul Johnny Flott, Lauren Amy Foley, Brandy Michelle Fontenot, Blake Michael Forrest, Heather Christine Fox, Ryan Edmund Fox, Brandon Lee Frank, Lauren Ashley Freeman, Elizabeth Ann Fregola, Ryan Joseph Fucoloro, Elijah Juan Javante Garrett, Brett Andrew Gates, Joseph Vernon Gates, Catherine Elise Gotro, Daniel Hargis Gernon, Alyssa Nicole Gilberti, Joseph Duran Gomez IV, Victoria Brittany Gore, Catherine Ann Gorman, Michael Dylan Gosley, Loa Shaliswa Grasas de Deos, Taylor James Grendel, John Bryant Griffith Jr., Whitney Lynn Girton, Joshua James Gunn, Shelby Cameron Guthrie, Jessica Ann Gutierrez, Brianna Louise Haas, Abed Alnur Ghassan Haddad, Hayden Connor, Connor Hamey, Ryan Matthew Hansen, David Nicholas Harper, Lauren Elizabeth Harris, Demario LaShawn Hart, Justin Thomas Hassinger, Megan Elizabeth Hecker, Mary Elizabeth Hendon, Alexa Claire Herbers, Kelsey Marie Hershey, Jessica Renee Higgins, Reese Chandler Hockey, Bridgette Asher Hogue, Ashley Sue Horn, Parker David Hoshman, Jacqueline Virginia Houghton, Jing Jang Wong, Holly Michelle Hudson, Lonica Deanne Huff, Brittany Louise Hunt, Evan Stewart Von Baron Hunt, Sarah Elizabeth Husson, Joshua Craig Huval, Cody Joseph Imbernoni, Brittany Angel Jacobson, Bruce Patrick Joffrey Jr., Hei Yan Jian, Yu Min Jian, Ivian Alexis Johnson, Stephen Brad Jones, Alexandra Stephanie Capota, 
Shelby Rain Kays, Brandon Joseph Kelly, Matthew Thomas Kelly, Brandy Lee Kenworthy, Ashley Nicole Kern, Cyrus Temian Ketty, Joseph Perry Kiefer, Kristen Elena Kiefer, Jessica Lynn Colleen, Christine Michelle King, Jordan Robert Noblock. Kristen Elizabeth Cohen, Jessica Faye Copeshow, Scott Christopher Court, Shana Lynn Crock, Stephen Thomas Crummel, Anne Mara Kurtz, Jaina Marie Labot, Dennis Michael Lafargue. Dalton J. LaFrance, Anthony John LaGuardia Jr., Dylan Michael Landry, Matthew David Landry, Dylan John LaPlante, Anna Carmela LaPrime, Shelby Elizabeth Latino, Chelsea Roxanne Laurent, Alex John Levanway, Jack Andrew Legans, Ashley Marie Laycraft, Michelle Elizabeth LeBlanc, Brandon Scott Lee, Victoria Belle Lemaine, Barry Joseph Lapine Jr., Kevin Martel Lewis. Jenna Louise Leoto, Harrison James Little, Sarah Elizabeth Lauza, Sean Michael Lockhart Jr., Matthew Bain Lodato, Lindsay Michelle Long, Natalia Lopez Gill, Shelby Ray Louder. Caitlin Ann Loyacano, Shelby Nicole Loyacano, Evan Michael Luke, Justin Troy Lyle, Wesley Vaughn Menino, Granada Glenda Manson, Jacob Ryan Miracle, Gerald York Marini. Stuart Michael Marino, Brennan Joseph Mark, Sophie Alexandra Martin, Samantha Lynn Maxwell, Veronica Jeanette Mayer, Jeremy Darren McCaskill, Amanda K. McDuffie, Mackenzie Elise McGee, Morgan Alexis McGee, Peyton Noel McGee, Ryan Patrick McGee, Patrick John McIntyre Jr., Jennifer Kimball McNeil, Christina Lee McRaney, Jessica Michelle Mayer, Addison James Melanson. Lindsay Diane Melier, Taylor Ann Menard, Tyler Alexander Meyer, Brock Reynolds Miramon, Casey Elizabeth Montalbano, Ariel Nicole Moore, Megan Ann Moran, 
Jacqueline Brianna Morrison, Chelsea Elizabeth Morse, Wesley Johnette Morton, Dimitri Michael Morvant III, Matthew Key Mosley, Alexandra Marie Mouton, Morgan Reed Mulford, Shane Allen Mullen, Taya Munkaby, Sarah Ann Nagan, Farah Akif Namari, Joseph Jared Nakan Jr., Jonathan Neff, April Lynn Nelson, Roger Jack Nelson III, Joshua Taylor Newham, Maxwell Adolf Newman, Aaron Nicole Newson, Danielle Monique Newton, Nu Trin Nguyen, Tien Nock Nguyen, David Daniel Noble III, Blake Joseph Nolan, Kelsey Elizabeth Noonan, Taylor Ray Norton, Laney Kara Nunmaker, Erica Jean O'Neill, Adadalapo Adairn Oganiyi, Shelby Rose Olson, Chelsea Ann Olivier, Sharon Francis Olmsted, Angelique Xaviera Ordon, Brittany Ann Orico, Kelly Marie Otilio, Jenny Brinkley Oxman, Corey Sierra Pagan, Jacob Paul Palmazano, Ryan Anthony Parker, Sarah Ruth Parker, Andrew James Patan, Todd Jerome P, Nicole Marie Pecorero, Eric Anthony Panzato, Michael Dylan Person, Logan Matthew Peterson, Alex Michael Piazza, Jiren Blake Pichon, Anthony Dean Pierce, Cody James Pierce, Allie Nicole Pigrenet, Caroline Elise Pixburg, Olivia Marie Pizzotti, Sean Michael Portera, Sky Raven Pottle, Victoria Brett Prather, Aurora Elena Polito, Ashley Renee Purcell, Mirage Andrea Rabelais, Lucas Earl Rader, Spencer Joseph Regis, Gayatri Ramamorthy, Leah Salome Ramirez, Rachel Elaine Rando, Owen Paul Redpath, Mallory Kate Richardson, Brendan Michael Riggs, Bailey Rochelle Riley, Maria Angelica Rivera Velasquez, Charles Garrett Robinson, Robert Thomas Robinson, Shelley Ann Romine, Brittany Marie Rouse, Robin Ann Rubens, Ryan Wayne Rupel, Joe Miley Saba, Julia Francis Cezanne, Javier Omar Santana, Jessica Michelle Sapera, Kirsten Elizabeth Sarver, Ashley Marie Savage, Christine Elizabeth Savino, 
Rachel Caroline Sawyer. Jessica Jason Scarborough. Brittany Alexandra Sears. Randy Lynn Scher. Kelsey Marie Sherman. Amy Nicole Schecksneider. Brittany Elise Schneider. Melissa Grace Schrader. Taylor Elizabeth Surpass. Mary Elise Sexton. Scott Tyler Shepard. Quade Colson Shepard. Joshua Allen Sheridan. Herschel Gibran Schotes. Patricia Lee Schoenberger. Amanda James Schultz. Brighton Henry Sylvan. Allison Elaine Simeon. Melvin Lamar Simmons. Karen Lucard Sims. Zachary Jake Slama. Robin Leslie Small. Adrian Eileen Smith. Benjamin Kyle Smith. Elliot Rudolph Smith III. Felicia Mary Smith. Joel Chet Smith. Joshua Daniel Smith. John Pyongsub Song. Colin Anthony Speck. Amanda Lauren Spire. Kaylee Danielle Stark. Hunter Matthew Starring. Laura Elizabeth Steffen. Sasha Andrea Steinberg. Bryson Ray Stelling, Kirk Martin Stevens, Daryl Stokes Jr., William Andrew Stoner, Zachary Scott Stowe, Ryan Luke Stringfellow, Ashley Ann Strumpel, Emily Victoria Sullivan, Rebecca Elise Tallow, Christopher Michael Tardo, Samantha Ann Taylor, Joseph Clarence Terrio, Kelsey Renee Thibodeau, Allie Marie Thomas, Brandon James Thomas, Jeanette Renee Thomas, Emily Elizabeth Traina. Jessica Lynn Trigero, William Bradley Trimble II, Ryan Paul Traumator, James Paul Troxclair, Michael Graham Tucker, Jennifer Marie Tui, Jessica Lynn Tui, Namdi Daniel Uday, Haley Nicole Uloa. Ashlyn Elizabeth Ulmer. Victoria Lynn Upton. Christian Wade Virgis Jr. Edmund Charles Verrett VI. Caitlin McLean Villars. Gabriella Helen Vince. Julie Van Vo. Jackson Gregory Voss. Megan Lynn Wager. Olivia Morgan Vida. Corey John Wallace. William Childress Ward, Jr. Tanner Lee Watson. Laura Elizabeth Wellen. Zachary Frederick Wedekam. Jacqueline Michelle Watley. Nicholas James Welton. Travion Duran White, Jr. Justin Hart Wycliffe. Austin Reed Williams. Dustin Scott Williams. 
Matthew Reed Williams, Andrew William Wimley, Rachel Lynn Wintermute, Warren Benjamin Wood, Robert Andrew Wright, Cody James Yates, Nicolette Paige Ibarzabal, Rochelle Amelia Young, Rosalina Savannah Young, Lauren Ann Zeller. Students, I want to congratulate you for having fulfilled a major role in your life. This unique goal represents your social and educational maturity and symbolizes your passage into independence. Over the past years, we have watched you grow confident in your abilities. Although we are somewhat saddened of your leaving, we celebrate your accomplishments and look forward to your future successes. I want to thank your parents for doing such a great job in helping you reach this goal. Please never underestimate the importance of family. And remember those who have sacrificed on your behalf. Let them know you appreciate their actions. Many thanks also goes to your teachers for encouraging, pushing, and in some cases, pulling you along the road to graduation. In closing, I want you all to know that my staff and I have enjoyed sharing the past four years with you, and especially this moment. We are very proud of you and wish you, you, wish you well. And always remember, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Now, would everyone rise and join the graduates in the singing of the alma mater? Students, please move your tassels from the right to the left by the authority, by the authority given to me by the Louisiana Department of Education and the St. Tammany Parish School Board, I pronounce you graduates of Fountain Blue High School. Parents and guests. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2010.
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 